Hello everybody, it's Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Look, this is going to be a real brief one. I'm coming to you uh, because we are right now in the midst of a major fundraiser. Uh, real quickly, if you haven't heard, if you haven't seen the flyers, I'm doing a symposium on this Saturday, a free symposium for the community for this Saturday on epigenetics. Uh, health, mental health, epigenetics and psychology, adverse childhood experiences, and the impact all of these things have on uh, the frayed and deteriorating relationship with law enforcement, as well as how law enforcement has a responsibility. Uh, this two-hour symposium is going to be an exploration into a multifaceted, complex dynamic uh, that I've spent 30 years unpacking and it's a part of an ongoing series with Harris County Sheriff's Office, the Wellspring Clinic and Family Institute uh, to bring some positive change to uh, the inner city communities, black communities. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's going to be live stream and I will be posting it on the Black Voice. Um, if you follow me, you know that I've got 30 years of research under my belt, exploring all of the enigmatic issues that plague our communities. If you follow me, you know that uh, we have given uh, a great deal of our time, energy, and effort to providing solutions, developing programs, and so forth. What I am doing now is we are trying to resource uh, the research we're doing, resource the program development, resource access uh, to me and the programs. I want to be able to travel and teach people in different communities how to set up in their communities to provide some of the resources that we're providing. None of this stuff is free. Uh, I give as much of myself as I can. Uh, those who have followed me know that I'm not one of those people that's going to tug on your heartstrings or try to manipulate you or get angry with you. I'm one of those people that believe if you're truly behind something, if you truly believe in it, you have to at some point understand that you're going to have to put some skin in the game. You're going to have to invest some time, energy, and effort into uh, being a part of the solution. I have talked to you about adverse childhood experiences. I have talked to you about african American, adolescent, young adult male violence. I have talked to you about the disintegration of the black family. I've talked to you about the failure to build and develop uh, wealth and all the mechanisms that are at play that work against us. I have talked to you about the miseducation of black youth in America. I have consistently unpacked and brought to you solutions. We're not just talking about whining and complaining and talking about what they're doing to us. I'm t I've brought to you solutions to every issue that I identified. I identified multiple solutions and I brought them to you. I've unpacked them in books. I've unpacked them in lectures. I've brought them to you. I've addressed them in program development, in programs like Black Man Lead, Music is, uh, music is Life, uh, uh, with uh, programs with mental health for black men and women, uh, for programs for domestic violence and intimate partner homicide. All of these things, I've been there. Now I'm calling on you. If we're going to go deeper, we're going to have to get to a point to where we are actually investing in our community. Uh, sitting up and talking about it isn't enough. We've got to be embedded and entrenched in places that are being constantly assaulted uh, through multitudinous mechanisms and machinations that are literally ripping our communities to shreds. We are being gentrified out of our, uh, out of our communities and many times out of homes that our great-grandparents owned. And it's because we don't understand how things work. For years, I have told you one of the biggest challenges to black progress is that we don't know how things work. And when you don't understand how things work, uh, you are easily manipulated. You are easily controlled and mishandled. And that's what we're witnessing. And it's our responsibility to catch up. It's our responsibility to become prepared. It's our responsibility to set and pave the path for our future generations. It's time out to stop complaining. It's time to start taking proactive 
actions and engagements and creating strategies, agendas, and protocols that work. It's that simple. Uh, the work is intensive. Uh, I have, like I said, I have put in 30 years of work, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of hours of research, and I've brought it to you. Uh, just look through the channel, go to the site and look at the thousand of thousands of articles, literally a thousand of articles that have been written over the years just for that one site. And I have multiple sites. I uh, make myself available uh, to travel. And I'm not a big tourist speaking person because speaking gets caught up and it just becomes this tour. I don't want to do a tour of speaking. I want to do a tour. If I need to speak, I'll speak, but I want to show you how to do what I know works because I've done it. I practice it. Socializing young black boys prepares them so much better for the world that they're going to have to face as black men. And I've shown that I produced that. I've got the empirical data to show it, but we need to get behind it. I'm challenging you. Look in the description box and give the goal for this weekend is five thousand dollars with the people out there and the way that we move money around to support and finance all this other stuff that brings us nothing it's out there let's make it happen i'm challenging you i'm calling you uh let's make it happen let's do something don't forget stay tuned for the posting and the streaming of the uh, epigenetic symposium that is taking place 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Central Standard Time on Saturday, uh, January 27th. Uh, there'll be more coming on that, but right now we need you to go to that description box and donate. That's it for me now. You guys, thank you. You have a great day.